ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. A lot of people were tagging me on this story. Child. Because if you guys remember a few years ago, I had did a video about a model. She came out, she had tattooed her eyes purple. And so she wanted to like warn people. She went on this hobo tour. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the picture, child. She went on a whole hobo tour. I just wanna warn others. And I'm like, bitch, we don't need no warning because people, you know, we have common sense. Like when did this start becoming a trend? So she wanted to warn people and I wasn't here for her warning. We don't need a warning from you. So she thought this was back in 2017. Y'all remember her. Um, her name was uh, Kat G Gallinger. Beautiful model, but wanted to tattoo her eyes purple. Um, she was upset. The tattoo artist, he felt no ways. He said he'd done it before. Oh, well, if, if your eye got infected, that's on you. So again, you got people who done did this foolishness and they had no legal recourse because, you know, they signed waivers. Um, but that was her eye. It was infected. Um... She said it wasn't her fault. She researched injecting the procedure over the past few weeks and believed that Brown had done it incorrectly. So you go into a tattoo shop, you allow them to put purple dye in your eye. It gets infected, but it's not your fault. It's your fault for being foolish. I don't know if he did a good job or not because that's not a risk I'm willing to take. So she's been out here crying tattoo tears since 2017. Talked about this years ago. Well, now we have a woman who's now one up there. And this is a black woman. This blew my mind. A black woman. Now, she claims she's a lawyer. I, I don't know who she's defending or what, what law school she got her law degree in. But this woman claims she's a lawyer. And uh, this is her. Who would, who, who? I'm on trial for my life. Let me decide. My girl ghost or the girl with the one purple eye, blue eye, face tattoos, pink eyebrows, pink hair. I think I'll stick with the other lawyer. Anyways, so she done tattooed her eyes, looking for attention. She's 32 years old. She's from Belfast. And now she's warning people. She did this in 2020, okay? This lawyer. She calls herself a lawyer, not me. So she did this in 2020. Um, she's into body modification. And this is what she's currently looking like in 2022. I'm sorry, I have absolutely no sympathy. Sorry, I just don't. Um, this is just gruesome. This is gruesome. Am I on screen? Is it clocking? Okay, it's, I'm, okay I see myself now. This is what she looked like before. She looked just fine before. But again, the attention seeking. And she has a child, her daughter is so beautiful too. She has a child. And this is who she was mirroring herself after. Because again, we live in a society of monkey see, monkey do. Now this normal, cute little, you know, model, Amber Luke, you know, cute little uh, white girl, you know, she wasn't getting enough attention just being a cute little blonde. She then had to do this whole body modifying thing and she ended up tattooing her eyeballs blue. So this is who this black woman, who's supposedly a lawyer, was mirroring herself after. This was her, some type of, you know, her shiro. So let me play y'all this video. Oh, you know, y'all might not be able to hear the video. Well, y'all can watch it. Y'all see that? Ugh. I'm going to see if she talks. If she does, I'm going to play it on a different screen. It's not even playing. It's just clocking. Oh, there she is. It's just clocking. But anyways, she also split her tongue. So she has a split tongue. Oh, God. Her eye is infected here. 
You can see all the crusties. Oh my gosh. And then this is, oh God, let me. These people just scare me, child. Let me go, child. What in the, what in the damn hell? What in the Sam hell is going on here? Come on, and these are grown folks. Like, these aren't even like, I can see they were like, you know, teenagers would just, you know, I just want to rebel. I can get the 15 year olds. These are grown, she's 32. So let me, I'm gonna pull it up in, an, in my other screen here. So y'all can hear the audio. Let's let's listen to what some of these folks are saying. Give me just a second here. Pull it up on Chrome. Chrome tab. Okay, let's see what this one is saying here. This this is the one that's inspiring all the all the young girls. Let's see if it plays. I don't know. Definitely have under about two hundred fifty thousand Australian dollars of work. Wow. Wow. Yes, but um, it's an investment and it's all worth it. Yeah, yeah. Most definitely. Yeah, because you've been very open with your mental health journey and and, and why you're getting tattooed and modifying your. Okay. Let me go back to what she was saying, what she was doing with her daughter. Let's play this video real quick. Or will it play? I think it's muted. Oh, there's no audio on this. I thought oh, there was audio. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here she goes. A really bad allergic reaction to the ink in my eyeballs. I had to stay in hospital for a week. And I actually put a sterile tablet and sterile drop and the drops had taken some of the ink out. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> my face is like, what the hell? I guess. Child to each his own. You know, my, my issue is this, right? Everybody's grown, so people are gonna do what they want to do to their body. My issue is your eyes are a blessing. Do you know how much of a blessing it is to be able to see? Once the eyeball was penetrated I, with the ink, it on. felt like he grabs 10. Oh, this is somebody describing it just pop. Oh, that's on BTB. I don't want to play that audio though, they'll, they'll copyright it. They stay copyrighting stuff. Um, like I was saying, to have Two sets of healthy eyes is such a blessing. You know how many people out here who are born blind or who lose their eyesight or who've had to have, you know, surgery or had an accident or they got a glass eye. Like people take for granted just the basics of just the human anatomy, right? Having two good eyes, you know, having hearing. Um, there's a young man that I ended up following. I, I was strolling on Instagram one day and he's deaf. And he was dancing and I was kind of shocked because, you know, I had learned, you know, from a few other people that even though deaf people can't hear music, they can feel it. And he's a really dope dancer. And so he's just really been educating me on, you know, deaf people and sign language and how some deaf people got shot because they were signing and people thought they were throwing up gang signs. Like, I didn't even know this was a thing. So, you know, it's just made me really appreciate just, you know, the small things. Like just being able to hear, you know, listening to music you know, walking across the street and being able to listen for cars. So when I see people purposely doing this to themselves, it's, it's sad. You know, I mean, I don't care about the tattoos, you know, people tattoo themselves every which way, but why mess with your eyes? And especially being that it's been so many cases of people who've gotten, you know, tattoo ink in their eyes and they've had severe reactions. They've gone blind. Like this has been going on for years. So I don't understand why there's still people doing this. And then they want to, you know, once it doesn't work out, now they want to give us warnings. We don't need this warning. We could have told you that shit before you ran to go do it. I don't need you to warn me. That's common sense. I barely like putting eye drops in my eyes. I'll be damned if I sit there and let somebody tattoo my eyeball. Like this is insane. It, it just, it doesn't make sense to me. And it's just like, again, I look at when people do stuff like this, it's just simply for attention. You know, let me see, you know, let me make myself look so different and crazy and, you know, so people will look at me, but then in the same breath cry that you don't like when people look at you. But then why are you getting stuff done if you don't want people to look at you? 
why are you splitting your tongue and getting all these tattoos and you know getting um what are them things those implants that they put in their foreheads and just all that weird stuff and then they get mad be on instagram cussing folks out i get tired of people staring at me maybe if you didn't have you know uh your whole face tattered like a lizard and a split tongue nobody would look at you you know, I, I just, I feel no ways about this lady. I'm sorry. Be grateful. Yes, Marquis, and two good hands, right? And two good shoulders and good knees and hips. You know, people just take stuff for granted. It is not, it's not a joke. And I just, I'm, I'm sad that she's going through that. But then again, can I feel bad for her? She put herself in that situation. She better hope that, you know, her, her eyesight gets fully restored She's over here talking about, well, you know, the treatment got rid of some of the dye. You should be happy the treatment took some of that dye out. And hopefully she won't go and get a retouch. <laughs> Folks are a mess, man. Like that should be a blessing. You should, you should understand how much of a blessing that is that you can see and that you can hear and that you can, you know, that you have your senses. Because there's somebody out here right now who cannot see. You know what I'm saying? I had subscribers. Like, I didn't even have blind subscribers. I'm like, well, how are y'all able to watch me if you... And then they explained to me, because I guess I don't know. So I always like to get educated. They said, no, we don't watch you. We listen to you. Um, we hear your voice. But yeah, I have blind people who watch me. I never knew that to the blind stripper. She was a whole tea sipper. I'm like, what? She was like, yeah, I watch you all the time. I'm like, how? And then she just started telling me. It's like a whole relay thing. And so she can hear my voice. So, you know, that, yeah, there's blind tea sippers who, who watch me. So I, I'm sure they would give anything, you know, to be able to see, you know, at least one time. So I, I just don't like this. I don't like this at all. Be grateful. Um, yeah, the blind stripper. Yeah, I remember her from Florida. I loved her. I loved her tenacity because she didn't give a damn. She was in that strip club with that cane, feeling for the pole and shit. Soon as she touched that pole, she jumped up there. I said, I know that's right. She said, I'm not going to let my disability stop me. She was getting her money. She said she wasn't making no money like that off of disability. So she started stripping. And she was and she was uh, ready to beat anybody ass. That's how she went viral. She was cussing out the other stripper. <laughs> that was, she had that cane. She was like, and you, y'all not going to be playing with me. She had me cracking up. Like, I, I love her. I love her. She's about her money, okay? So that's what I'm saying is that um, at the end of the day, we have to appreciate what we have because your health, is your wealth. And if you don't have that, you don't have anything. Money don't matter. The clothes, all that stuff don't matter. Your health is your biggest thing. And people need to stop messing with their health just for views and for attention. It's it's crazy. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to